Okay, this is job number 19832. Sherlock self storage. Some asphalt repairs, but also some crack fill repairs out here in Woodenville. Okay, so I'm going to take you down to the north end of the property here, but this is a pretty good size storage place. As you can tell, the uh, manager here is going inside the gate, which we would need access to that gate by him if we came out to do the work. Take you down to the north end here. This will be one problem we'll be talking about. But there is asphalt repair number one. Got some alligator cracking going on here in this section. We've got here all the way across and then you've got this huge groove. So Asphalt repair number one is going to be a 15 foot by 2 foot repair right here. Then you've got, uh, well actually it's a 15 foot by 1. So 15 foot by 1. Then you've got this section here of alligator cracking. So we'll cut it like that. And uh, dimensions on that is 25 by 6. Okay, so those are your two, two measurements for asphalt repair number one. Make your way down the middle here. All of this looks a little damaged, it's a little rough, but I think we're hanging in there right now. But down here, this catch basin, a little bit sunk here. So we wanna start back, back here a little ways uh, from the catch basin make our way it's about 12 foot by 3 foot 12 foot by 3 foot in this section here uh, that's uh, running off like 3 feet 4 feet off one side and then uh, 8 feet off the other side Okay, so that's asphalt repair one and asphalt repair two are on this north side of uh, the property. A catch basin, that way uh, the water will flow back into the catch basin. I'm gonna take you into this area. There's some crack fill throughout the whole property. And I'm gonna say there's about a thousand feet of crack fill from the north end all the way to the south end. Here's one of them here. This is a typical crack that you'll see throughout the property. You'll see a lot of them like this coming off of the building, either by a drain pipe or just right from the, uh, right from the building itself. So from north to south, we need to go through the whole area and capture all the cracks that are uh, that are in here some alligator cracking right here uh, he didn't uh, account for it yet but I'm going to include this so it's gonna be L shaped right here right here and right there okay so you've got four by eight going that direction and then you've got four by eight going that direction that's going to be asphalt repair number three. That's right here by the door. This patch is at the very entrance here. A Sherlock self storage. 24 by 10. 10 foot. Starting down at about this crack. Going up 10 feet. Over 24 feet to capture that area that's damaged there. Big rectangular piece. So this area by the front of the storage place is a little trickier. We're gonna keep that drain pipe there. But problem is, is water's collecting right in this little spot right here. It's like building up and then finally it flows over into there. So what they need to do is keep in mind that this area right here is at the correct height and we need to keep the slope going in this direction. But this area needs to be raised up just a little bit. Enough to where it'll continue a consistent steady flow and over to 
uh, that drain right there. So there's not going to be much of a lift here, but he does want to cut it out and get this thing flowing towards the middle. Now, this slopes down from the curbing, it slopes all the way down past that drain and down to this spot right here, which is about the lowest spot. Everything back here behind me is all kind of flowing this direction. He wants to get that low spot lifted up just a little bit so that it's flowing more in that direction. So all of this right here from the pipe over needs to flow in that direction. So it's going to be a little tricky. So my thought is, is this is going to be about a um, 8 foot by 10 foot piece right here to even out. He said he'll clean out the, uh, the little drain pipe right there. Okay? So let me make sure I said this correct. This would be a 12 by 8. That's asphalt patch number 5. Number 6 is going to be right down here. That's at the catch basin. You're only looking at about a, uh, a 3 by 3 patch right here. So asphalt for repair number 6 would be a 3 by 3 now I'm inside the gate, as far as the crack fill goes, you can see all the way down this drive aisle that it stops down there at a building. There's a face of a building down there and that's building G. That's where new, uh, the newest uh, section has been put in, so there's nothing to do down there. But to the left here where you've got these buildings, anywhere from that building way down there at the very end to where I'm standing right now, we need to look at crack filling. That'll include the drive aisle right there in the middle and down by the fence. Right here, asphalt repair number seven. We need to fix this section right here. So, you're looking at a 10 by four. Come 10 feet, my direction, by four. That catch basin, by the way, is right in the middle between building B and building C. Catch basin. All right, asphalt repair number eight. Down here by this fancy, nice little uh, Tioga walkabout trailer, or uh, camper. Excuse me, I guess that's called an RV. Anyways, uh, this little section right here, it's all worn out as well. Uh, you've got some alligator cracking. Gonna be a 12 by 3 foot patch. That 12 by 3 foot patch is in front of C49. Okay? 12 by 3. That's asphalt patch number 8. Again, you'll see some alligator cracking coming off the buildings. You have to look for that along these drive aisles. There's one right there. These are all typical that you see throughout the property. Another one's down here by this catch basin. It's filled once, but needs to be refilled. Okay. Asphalt patch number nine by this catch basin. It's between D and C. That right there. Uh, we want to take care of the alligator cracking that goes through here. Plus the square area right there. So asphalt patch number nine is going to be a six by six. And then a 10 by 2. 6 by 6 and 10 by 2. So here's the back of the property. You've got the highway out here. You've got building D right here. So building D goes down to all the way down past that sign that you see. And then you see the face of the building down there. The brick building. That's where you stop. That's where the new asphalt is. And those are all your asphalt patches, but that's this whole area down here and along here is where we need to take care of crack filling. So all crack filling that needs to be done at building D, C, B, and then over A, which is uh, at the front office area, all needs to be taken care of. No other asphalt patches. There's nine of them there. Uh, three inch typical I believe out here 
I can't imagine it being any thicker than that. Any other questions? Let me know. They they do want to do this project. So it might be done this year, hopefully, before the weather gets bad. Thanks.